please focus your mind to this bell sound and follow the sound please नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् Please keep relax your body. Your right palm on your left. Make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. Bring your attention to your body. And scan head to toes three times yourself. And say Swapateva or may I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think we gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and attitude with them. We also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment, with this sitting, may my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me, may all the success come to me. Also, think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. You detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment observing your inhalation and exhalation. So mentally repeat, uh, release your body following my words. Relax your head. Relax your forehead, relax your eyebrows, eyes, relax your ears, relax your nose and relax your whole face muscles. Relax your teeth, relax your tongue, relax your mouth. Relax your throat and relax your neck. Relax your shoulders, arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips. Relax your back muscles, relax your spine. Relax your chest and abdominal muscles. Relax your lungs, relax your heart, relax your kidneys. Relax your gallbladder, relax your pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, and relax your all abdominal organs.
relax your buttock, relax your thigh, relax your knee, relax your calf muscles, foot and toes. Relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone, marrows, and whole skeleton. Release the tension in your mind and keep relax your pace muscles. Now bring your attention to your lower part of the body and observe the tightness, tightness, pressure, heaviness, heat. Just observe and see the sensation, whatever you can recognize. Don't try to change your posture. Just observe, recognize and accept it. Let it be. Don't take that feeling as you. It arises according to necessary conditions in that in this moment. The, your environment, cushion, your chair or your cushion, your height, your weight. If you change one of this, now everything can change. Recognize this the effect of cause and effect. This is the result. No one doing this. Bring your attention to the lower part of your body. See what you can feel. Don't personalize. Your upper back. Your shoulders, arms, elbows. See what you feel. And your head and your face muscles, neck. Is there any sensation? Is there any feeling that you can recognize? Observe deeply and see why it happened or how that happened. Investigate. Your chest and abdominal area. And observe the whole body and feel your whole body as one. See if there are any sensation arising, if there are any feelings arise on your skin. Just recognize what you see as a body, what you experience as body.
bring your attention to inner, inhalation, exhalation. In front of your nose and your upper lip area. Follow that inhalation, exhalation. Don't try to do anything. Completely be neutral. Follow the entire continuation of the inhalation, exhalation. Don't try to do anything. Just let everything to settle down. Accept everything as it is. Recognize the very nature of inhalation, exhalation. Rising exists for a moment, disappearing. Observe your whole body, follow how, how it follows the inhalation, exhalation. Your entire body, each and every cell, from macro to micro, atom to this whole body, to this name or the form, to this whole world, to entire universe, everything in a journey. No any solid moment. No any solid experience you can achieve in this samsaric journey. Just recognize the very nature of your inhalation, exhalation. That will teach you the very nature of entire universe. Your inhalation, exhalation carry the rhythm of entire universal rhythm. Just be harnessed with it. Experience it.
Don't personalize any experience. Let your heart to be free from your memory. Just let it be with the moment. Let your heart to be free from becoming. Learn to be with the moment. Just be. Drop the coming part. Learn just to be. If you decide not to walk, journey itself going to stop. If you settle down with your inhalation, exhalation, rather than with your desire, your sansara are going to stop there. Bring your attention to your body. Experience yourself this moment. Appreciate yourself this moment. Pay your gratitude. How lucky you are, how blissful you are to be like this. While you are sitting here in this very moment, there are a lot of people around this world struggling with death, fighting with death, struggling with disease, illness. There are a lot of people go through fear, anxiety, depression. There are a lot of people feel loneliness, helplessness, hopelessness. So have an intention yourself to share your heart with them wherever they are. May they come out of that struggle, may they come out of that fear, anxiety, depression, may they come out of that loneliness, helplessness, hopelessness, may they come out of that illness or the disease. May they have the strength, courage and the wisdom to stand themselves and go through whatever the situation in front of their life and find the calm and freedom, comfort themselves, same like you in this very moment, what you experience. Not only them, share your heart with your loved ones, your husband, wife, children, friends and family members, brothers, sisters, your parents your loved ones, your neighbors, your village people, your city, your state, your country, around this all the people. Not only that, as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Let your heart to share your loving kindness and compassion. Let your heart to shine with the light from the bottom of it, with the maximum effort to the highest. Thinking and wishing them, may all living beings be well and happy. So mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are pale or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, 
already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Visualize yourself. Send it as a light, step by step forward to your backside, to your left side, and to your right side, downward and upward to all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light or spread the energy without any condition or without any limitation. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it, with the maximum effort to the highest. Let your heart to come out of this skin. Let your heart to be free from this cage. And with that freedom, wish may all living beings be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma friends, there was a father having a trouble with his only one and only child. This child was so greedy and uh, always in hurry. So this father was trying to give wisdom to this child and uh, the child didn't understand anything. Then one day this child start to eat with the father and that day the father made eggs with some rice and put it to ball and he put the rice uh, the the egg on the top of the the rice ball so they sat and uh, before they take the their plate the ball the child saw the one egg was top of the rice and he was so, so hurry to take that egg and he jumped and took it and he was enjoying and while he eating, eating he saw on his father's rice bowl there were two eggs under the rice. It covered with the rice and it was not visible and he, the child thought there there are no eggs 
in that ball. That's why he jumped and took the, the ball with the one neck. And now he felt so sorry. Why? Because he thinking now he's, he lose two eggs. He just had one egg. And then father told the child, son, remember in life, don't be hurry. And other thing is, don't judge from outside, whatever you see. Maybe on the surface level, what you see is become very limited. But in the depth, you find something more valuable than what you see on the top. So he gave little wisdom to child. The child start to think about it. Oh, that's true because I saw only one egg. Now it is, you know, he experienced it already. Oh, I saw only one egg. That's real. And uh, under the other bowl, there were two eggs. So then next day, the father made the same rice bowl and one egg on, on the top of one rice bowl and other one, there is nothing. And they sat for their dinner. And the child start to look. That day he was not that much hurry. Why? Because yesterday he got his lesson. He was observing and he saw one egg. And he start to compare to yesterday. And what happened yesterday. So then he jumped and took the, the rice bowl that was no eggs on the top and now eating the the father took the the one egg rice bowl and start to eat and that day the child didn't find any eggs under the the rice and he was so unhappy you no know? so the father start to give a little wisdom what is the wisdom don't repeat your experience. The, the situation or the condition is going to be different. Don't try to be the same. And don't compare. So now child got the lesson from the first day. Don't judge from outside. And the second one, don't be hurry. So then the Next day, he got his next lesson. He lost all the eggs. What is that? Don't repeat your wisdom. Or don't repeat your experience. Or don't, re don't compare to past situations. Why? It may be not going to happen again. But just look yourself. So far in this story, and sometimes people can think, why, what's the wrong that repeating the, uh, the experience? Because when you deeply observe, when your mind is become very clear, you will see each and every moment has a different situation. Each and every moment change. Nothing going to be the same. So nowadays, there are a lot of people, even I was listening today, this uh, White House news briefing, the, what the president always keep telling. We have to go back to where we were. You know, it never going to happen. Sometimes you also thinking, whatever happened in your past, you want to go back to that level. You want to go back to that position. That is what in ordinary level of people always struggling. You know, get, get back to get back to that normal, you know, rhythm. But remember, don't look for that. That is where the, you, are, you are deeply, your struggle going to become more, bring more fire. You know, it's, it's kind of like a, you struggling with the current. Then how, what you have to do? 
start to be new forget about past it happened you know whatever good or bad it happened it happened but focus tomorrow and think about yourself today and start to become a new person from tomorrow when the sun rises when you go to sleep when you wake up next day don't look for you yesterday you will never find it but one thing you will find what will you find unhappiness worry sad fear if you look for your past so then have the strength courage to move forward to become new so those are the the wisdom that you have to gain and don't be hurry when you try to become new when you want to get the best out of the moment or the situation remember don't be hurry sometimes your mind say no no you have to do this so quick no look at the world who who going to win no one going to win no why you are so hurry learn to be slow down even when the enlightened master that when the the ordinary person attain to enlightenment the very best quality the first quality they are going to get they become slow down so then then yourself for any reason with your bodily action verbal action with your mental action remember don't be hurry slow down and don't the second wisdom don't judge on the surface level when looking at the person and the situation or whatever you hear whatever you see whatever you smell whatever you taste don't just judge from that surface level perception that that is the wisdom that is why you need the wisdom to break down that perception and and feelings go beyond it so that's why you have to practice it's like uh, any any practice you know the, like uh, the people who exercise day by day when they exercise with lifting weight they, they they little by little going to lift higher if you start to run day by day you become faster the same thing when you sit every day consistency when you keep doing keep doing keep doing you become a master so then the skill is in the first day you cannot do it so that's why you have to learn no so don't try to judge from the surface level it is a it is a wisdom that you you can gain within yourself when you slow down you will see how it work you not going to lose anything you know and you start to see beyond the the level and the third one the wisdom is don't repeat don't compare comparison is the worst poison that can hurt you it was that it was this like that past to future future to past to you know when you compare you lose the moment don't don't lose don't compare so then the third day son and father sat and that day now the child have this three wisdoms and his mind open and they sat one egg on the top of the rice bowl another one nothing just empty the child is start to think oh you are my father you take care of me and you work so hard so it is not good that i jump and take whatever so whatever good for you please take it and whatever left over i will accept i am the son and that day the father took the the one egg ball and the in the surface level there was no eggs the child accepted that took it with the with the great respect and with the great gratitude towards the father and child was eating just the rice 
and while he eating that day in the bottom of the rice bowl he found three eggs so that's the lesson when you pay gratitude regarding your husband wife children friends and family members you no need to pay gratitude to this for un unknown unseen the this uh, aliens no start to think about other people maybe you will never understand how hard other people sacrifice their life for you so when opportunity come for you so first with the gratitude with the respect offer that moment to others you will find something better than what you deserve so that's the lesson and with that lesson i wish upon everyone to have a wonderful evening for someone wonderful day and uh, wherever you are stay safe and healthy and take care of yourself and share your life with others so with that sabbitu vajjantu sabbaro ko vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo suki digayuko bhava etavata chamme hi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva sabbe bhuta sabbe satta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya idam me punya kammanga sabakaya vahanno tu sabba dukkha pamunchatu so bless you so so if anybody uh, want to send donation some people ask uh, text me and uh, you can uh, send the donation uh, from paypal or you can uh, do the bank transfer uh, if anyone need that information you can uh, go to our website also so everyone have a wonderful evening take care yourself and bless you